Hello everyone and welcome back to a, our second campaign turn of the first run of Five Parsecs from Home. In the last episode, our glorious heroes managed to defend the farmstead from two rowdy <laughs> bandits that were trying to take, um, take over the place. And this time, I guess we'll get to see what happens next. Uh, in the pre-battle um, pre events, uh, Hakim and Zach have both been training up their combat skills. Um, Zach has actually managed to hit the um, XP required, so he's gone up to combat, um, combat plus one as well. So that is both of these two. That's um, Zach and Caleb. Hakim is one off. I considered using a story point, but I like the idea of using story points for actual like story beats. Uh, uh, Rel and um, and Scratch over here, they've been uh, they've gone trading, and between them they found some worthless junk and a broken combat blade. So not quite the huge stash of pharmaceuticals they got last time. And uh, Ariana and Caleb have gone back to Michael, the their patron, to get another job, and this time the job is that. A large raider gang has has come into an area nearby, and it's it's going to cause a bunch of trouble. They don't. Um, they, Michael doesn't want them to fight them. The enforcers are going to come in and do that. What they do need to do is get in, get the P, uh, get the civilians, and get them out of there. So they don't need to fight. They are actually going to be massively. Over, um, uh, massively like I am over um rather outnumbered that's the word English is hard um, and um yeah especially because one thing I forgot to mention last time uh Rel has had a crisis of conscience is not sure where the fighting's for him and is going to be sitting this battle out isn't that nice of him so we're still not running a full crew on this adventure which is great it's great fun I did consider hiring a um a, a seventh member of the crew, but that means you've got to start paying more money on in the end of that. So, nope, nope, going to go in with less people and hope for the best. Yeah, I guess I'll see you all in the fights. And here we are at the little homestead, small village, just on the... Yeah, probably just like in the sort of wilds of Hope's Fall. Yeah, they've got a little, uh, you know, coming up a little sort of brushland forest. You've got some watchtowers. Yeah, you've got the home. You've got a few homes, a few like warehouses and things. I'd like to think it's a, it's a little like sort of maybe a lumber community or something. And down here we have the heroes. This is five of them now. <laughs> The most I've ever had on the table. And against them, we have got three members of a salvage team up here. The dude on the tower has a marksman's rifle. The rest of them have all got military rifles. So this is going to be very different to the last game. I'm outnumbered by people who also outrange me. Uh, I'm going to deal with him last. Well, uh, the dude at the back there is the lieutenant with two more regular dudes. And the guy here, he is a unique individual. He is a hired killer who is way harder than everyone else. If you bring him down, there's actually bonuses, but uh, yeah, got to um, <laughs> got to do that. Um, I've also got three. These represent the families that are in the homes. They are currently cowering. Um, I've got to get to within two inches of the house to try and basically just like get them, you know, sort of convince them that the place is clear and then they can get out of here. This game, this mission is on a timer. At the end of each each round, I'm going to roll 2d6. If it's below the round number, then the enforcers are coming in to, do the, um, to actually get rid of these guys. And I will fail to evacuate some of the civilians if I'm not there on time. 
It also means I believe I'm going to have to wipe all of these out within the time limit, random time, or I won't be able to hold the field. And holding the field does get bonuses. But for that, we will see if that happens. It may not. You never know. But now my entire team has a reaction of one still. So, ooh, two of my team members can go. Oh, I've got to think about this now. <laughs> right, I will assign and then get back to you. So, uh, yeah, uh, darling, I've given the um, uh, the b uh, below re uh, reactions to Scratch, who has run up behind the, um, uh, this is the uh, shrubs here. And Hakeem has a decent shot on that dude right there. So he's still only a combat of plus zero, so he needs fives to hit. But it is possibly the best shot he's going to get this entire game. <laughs> he's staying still to aim, and he's going to miss. Cool. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, on to the bad guys. Uh, going up against them, the salvagers have, in many cases, run forward. The... Sniper up on the um, roof he is going to stay where he is. He's only moved up. He's going to take, he's got a shot. He's moved up into cover behind the truck. He's got a shot. Uh, he had to dash to get into cover there. And the leader has a bad shot, but he's going to take it. So I'm going to start with the sniper who has a completely um, unimpeded uh, shot on um, uh, Ariana. He's for, uh, fives to hit, fives to hit. Don't he did aim? Missed. Hooray. Um, dude over by the house has a shot, an impeded shot at Zach. He misses. And now everyone else, basically everyone's going to fire into Ariana because Ariana is basically just like standing in the open. Everyone's standing in the open at the moment. But, uh, so they are they still need uh, sixes to hit, so the regular dude, no, and the uh, lieutenant has plus one combat. He misses two, and he moves so he doesn't get to reroll. Go on to these guys. Uh, uh, Zach is running to the first house. He is just out of range to um get them out. Um, Caleb has moved up here. He's got an assault rifle now, so he actually gets. Two shots at 24 inches rather than two shots at 8 inches. And he need, he's behind cover. He now needs fives because he's the only person who's got plus one combat. He still misses with both. Amazing. Okay. And just going to move up um, Ariana as well. Yeah, I was getting all ready for her to shoot and then remembered she's got a hand laser so it's a 12 inch range. <laughs> Cool. Uh, I'm not going to bother rolling the dice because I can't get less than a 1 on 2d6. Uh, yeah, on to turn 2. Right, as the team fans out to try and save everyone, I'm going to do another initiative roll. Again, two of them can go first. Ah got to work out which do now. Um, do you know what? Caleb and Hakeem and everyone else can go afterwards. Oh, sweet. So what, I, I'm going to just... <laughs> Caleb is going to stand and aim before shooting both shots at um, that guy again. He's a five to hit. Still nothing. And uh, Hakeem is going to move into cover and take one shot needing sixes. No. No. Cool. Okay. Time for the bad guys to move. So, um, on the whole, um, the salvage team has the cautious AI, so they tend to stay at the back, stay in cover, and shoot. So... The three on this side have all got decent shots at Ariana. The three on this side have all got decent shots at Caleb. So that's what they're going to do, starting with the marksman. 
He hits. Okay, she's toughness three. He fails to wound. Oh my god. So she is knocked back. And she is stunned. Um, does all, oh, that might also change some of them as well. So, and do the one at the back next. He's got a military rifle. He misses. Uh, the one behind the sort of hut over there. He is going to miss because she's still in cover. Uh, go up over this side. Yeah, um, she has just got out of cover for, uh, yeah, um, I'm going to go for this one here next because he's out of cover for him. So that is a five to hit. Misses, thank the Lord. And yeah, I think the other two are still going to go for Caleb. So I'm going to go for leader first. He needs a five. Nope. And the other one needs a six. No. Okay, oh dear. Gonna have to work out what I'm doing. And the higher killer is running up fast as well. I do not like this at all. Cool, 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 cool. Let's move some stuff up and hope for the best. Scratch has dashed up to behind this building here, which is close enough to get this family start um, evacuating. Um, as well as... um. Got Zach over here, same deal. This family's evacuating. The only one left is this uh, this uh, group over here, who you know he is hoping. And yeah, uh -huh. uh, okay. So Zach didn't dash, so he's going to take a shot at the hired killer. If you can take down a unique individual, you do get bonuses. And honestly, the higher killer's real tough, so I don't like him. But right, um, Zach got plus one combat at, because of training, so he needs fives to hit. And he misses. Bum, bum, bum balls. Because uh, <laughs> I have a horrible feeling the higher killer was going to charge Scratch next turn and um, kill them. Because the higher killer is real tough. Right, so I have just done a bit of measuring here, and the hired killer here is in charge range of poor Scratch over here. Um, and the hired killer, if they charge them, is going to kill them. So Scratch is going to need to get the uh, initiative here. Okay. Not one. Not one person has got the initiative. Oh, no. Okay, um, I guess it's move people up and, um, start crying softly under my breath. So, uh, melee, oh no, the small child in a raincoat is about to get the crap kicked out of him by a <laughs> literal hired killer. Uh, apart from that, seeing as no one's moved, uh, it's actually exactly the same, so I'm just going to do exactly the same rolls again. Got the marksman first, hits um, uh, hits um, Ariana, and oh no, Ariana gets wounded. Now, Ariana has um, a point of luck, which, which is essentially a wound. It's going to be, oh, I probably should have got a dice for this, I didn't I think it was going to happen quite this soon. She basically dives d6 inches in a random direction, which I'm going to have to get a scatter dice or something. Give me a second. D8s are amazing as scatter dice if you can't find your actual scatter dice. So she dives uh, six inches backwards, which I think is going to put her about there, and actually out of sight of everyone else, which is pretty great, if I'm being entirely honest. Uh, I actually don't think they can shoot anyone anymore. They may actually uh, end up moving up a little bit then. Um, but I will deal with these three first. Let's do the ba -ba -ba, the one behind the shed, all firing into Caleb. Misses. The one behind the truck. Misses. Uh, the lieutenant. 
misses. Because you can't hit Caleb. Caleb is amazing. Uh, now on to the melee phase. So, the way melee works in this is both sides roll a d6, add their combat. If they've got melee weapons, they add melee. Uh, they add um, uh, one for pistol, two for melee weapons. Um, <laughs> Scratch there has a, um, it's called a heavy melee weapon. So it's clumsy. So if anyone is uh, faster than them, then they, um, the opponent, no, sorry, blah, blah, blah. then um, Scratch would be minus one brawl, but they're not. So it is. Basically, the higher killer gets d6 plus one. Uh, scratch gets d6, the killer gets d6 plus one. So scratch first. Oh dear. So yeah, the kill. Okay, so. Now, interesting fact. If you roll ones, your opponent automatically gets an attack, or gets a hit on you. So both sides are hitting this engagement. Uh, <laughs> so. Scratch has a toughness of three. They're taken out on three or more. Yep. And the um, higher killer has a toughness of five. Because Scratch has damage one. So four or more. Oh, Scratch also gets a gets the first wound off. But uh, the higher killer also has a point of luck. So dives three inches that way. Which I think is going to get him the other side of the building, sadly. No, Scratch is out of combat. Oh, no! <laughs> right, uh, before I move the heroes, um, Ariana has ended up down here. And, yeah, I like to think that the Kind Killer got hit by Scratch as, um, as um, they were, like, taking them out and has retreated back around the building here to try and, like, recoup and, you know, make sure everything, you know, goes well. Oh, and I've... Now they went. I was going to move these guys. So. Yeah. So, oh dear, <laughs> things are. It's my first casualty, and it's my little baby scavenger. <laughs> they were an orphan, damn it. Yeah. Okay. Let's move these two up. So both of these have moved over to the basically the other side of the building and behind the truck. But weirdly, because of the way these are placed, all my dudes are placed, they can't actually get line of sight on anyone. So, yeah, it's time for the retaliation. Full scratch. So, everyone has moved up. Um, <laughs> Ariana is now um, bringing up the rear. Uh, <laughs> um, you've got uh, Caleb, who has run around here to try and He's going to start trying to flank. I really can just ignore this half of the board now. <laughs> like, these guys are going to have to come to me. Um, yeah, uh, Zach has moved up here. And I'm going to try... He is just going to shoot at him. It's not an amazing shot, but whatever. However, Hakim is going to try and snipe the sniper. It's a six to hit, but on the other hand... Isn't it always? So, <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> boo. And yeah, um, I'm actually going to call it that this isn't cover because it's a tiny bit of the base. And, yeah. So I need fours to hit with Zach. He's going to miss anyway. <laughs> God bless him. He's enthusiastic, but he's not actually very good at fighting. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, you go? Oh, roll to see if the game ends on a double one. This could be an incredibly short fight. No, no, everything is fine. As we move into turn three. So I've um, got my initiative. Before I do, I just think about this. I actually don't need to kill everyone. I just need to get within two inches of that building at the back there. Which I reckon I can do in maybe three rounds. It'll basically involve Caleb just sprinting for it while everyone gives him um, covering fire. Uh, yeah, I'm going to see if I can do it. If, also, if I can get a one, I can give it to um, Zach and I'll get another good shot off. 
Nope, not a single one. Oh no. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, they're going to be able to fortify their positions. This is not going to be great fun. Great. Cool. Everything's fine. So here we are. The hired killer has moved up behind this truck here. Uh, the dude here has moved behind this van here, so he's not actually like <laughs> being shot. Well, he is being shot, but not as well. Everyone else has stayed still. Oh, uh, the um, lieutenant is running. He's ran over there. He's going to try and basically head off the heroes. But it does mean uh, the two do the two salvage crew at the back. These two. And the sniper are all going to be shooting a poor Zach. Uh, <laughs> this is what happens when you are the hero. Um, so he moved. Everyone else stayed still as well, still aiming. I'm going to do the one that stayed still first. Oh, the one that moved first, even? Need six. Basically, they all need sixes. So in a line, uh, him, he misses. One behind the other van misses. The one behind the building, uh, the objective building misses. And the sniper misses. See, this is what happens when you're a hero. You get to do awesome shit. Uh, <laughs> now it's time for the hero's turn. And here we are. Um, Ariana is running up the hit over here so she can better witness her captain's stupidity running forward he is going to try and take out the dude that took out um stitch and yeah uh caleb is running over here if caleb can survive till the next round which he should do no one can see him at the moment and the game doesn't end he should be able to make a run for the final building and win at least get the objective he will then be in the middle of a whole bunch of um, dudes, but apart from that, everything will be fine. So, starting with him. Okay, so. <clears throat> fives to hit normally, plus one for the. Um, plus one for the. Plus one for the combat value, plus one for snapshot. He needs threes to hit this guy. He hits! Fives to kill him. No. But it does knock him back an inch and stun him, which may be all they need. Wait, it's not. Uh, you're going to need to actually kill him. But still, he's not back and stun. <laughs> That's nice. And I'm going to continue the sniping fight because they're all the same. You may as well get rid of the sniper. So he needs sixes to hit. No. No. Uh, if he survives this, he's getting plus one combat. I cannot wait. <laughs> Uh, I don't think it'll hit a single time on this roll, these rolls anyway, but still. Yeah, so that is all the um, uh, the bad guys. It's all the heroes. Everyone else has ran. So, turn three. three. You need four or more to continue going. I saw that one and panic. Okay, we've got one more round. If I can get a single one on the initiative roll next round... I believe I win on objectives. I just need to try and then take the field. I, I have never wanted a one so much in my entire life. Although that said, if I get a one, it shouldn't go to Kayla. Uh, for all of the obvious reasons. Um, I did get two ones. Ooh. Do you know what? Caleb can go last. Caleb is within seven inches of that, even going around the um, building. So he's going to get there. I'm going to give one to him. One to Hakeem. Uh, she, um, Ariana can go last. Right. In my mind, Zach is an absolute moron. And I'm pretty sure he's in range. <laughs> um, they both have blade. They both have plus one combat. So technically they're evenly matched. But a stun token is a, um, gives your opponent an additional plus one. So Zach is 
actually currently he would be winning that on the downside it will open him up to these two but i think he's mad i think he's real mad so he's going to charge in and it's not like i'm going to do <laughs> uh hakeem shooting the sniper first because oh he can re-roll that because he aimed yeah cool um hakeem can't hit for shit uh i love him i i genuinely love him but he can't hit for shit uh, I'm going to charge in and um, punch the higher killer. Oh, it's good and pulpy. Uh, I'm going to go again with the lower roll. So the higher killer first gets a four. And Zach only gets three. Oh, no. Oh, God. The higher killer wins this. Uh, he's tough as three. He does have combat armor, so he has a five up save. He fails. Uh, he's going to burn his point of luck and he is going to dive four inches in that direction. Amazing. So things are looking pretty bad. <laughs> These three are going to have um, a nice field day with poor Zach over here. This lot have moved up. Um, the sniper, uh, he's moved over. Um, this guy here has moved over so they can all get shots on Hakeem, apart from uh, the lieutenant who he still doesn't have line of sight. But yeah, um, I'm going to start with the higher killer shooting into um, uh, Zach. Hits twice! Uh, Toughness three, threes, so and he's threes to wound. One wound, he's got a five up save. Yeah, no. Um, Zach is also very dead. Well, not dead, he's injured, hopefully. Uh, one of my characters dies on the second game, game. I'm not going to be too happy here. Um, yeah, uh, so we've got the sniper and the two regular dudes into Hakeem. Sniper misses. Uh, first dude misses, second dude misses. They've all, they both moved, so. Yeah. Okay. Crap. Uh, I've got a feeling it's going to cost me Caleb, but it is going to save the civilians, and that feels like what they would do. Oh, no. <laughs> just need to do that and then just get out of here, basically. I could do that. It's all going to be fine. It's all going to be fine. So, yeah, um, Ariana has run up here. And, um, yeah, there it is. Caleb has managed to get the last group out. They have achieved the mission. And now it's basically going to be a case of just getting out of there. I don't think that you know, they, they have not got a single kill so far. I, it's not about getting kills. They've saved the civilians. She should be running the other way. He should be running the other way. The, the civilian dude should be running the other way. Um, yeah, I just, I just think at this point, um, if the military doesn't come in now, it's going to be a four or less. Nope. Okay. Uh, I think it's going to be, um, they're going to have to GTFO. Like, should be able, I, right? The problem is entirely going to be poor Caleb here. Caleb is going to get shot by everyone. <laughs> oh no. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, <laughs> just thought the morale rules, they have actually um, completed the objective. So because they're cautious, then I can roll them um, 2d6 uh, on a, because they are, I can, and either of them are a natural one. All the uh, um, salvage team just flees. They're just not worth it anymore. The higher killer won't. So it would be um, the three remaining um, team members versus the killer if I roll a single one. Which I've never wanted more in my life. I don't. Okay. <laughs> right. Cool. Everything is fine. <laughs> oh, God. See you next turn. Sorry, I have just checked. Um, he's aggressive, not rampaging. So on a one, he will run away. No, no. Why would he? That would be helpful. <laughs> right, but you do do this at the end of each turn from now on. So I've just got to 
basically bunker up and wait for the army to leave now uh, to uh, get in now. Right. So it's time for an initiative roll, and I have never wanted to roll a one so much in my entire life. If I can do that, Caleb can get back into cover before everyone starts shooting. If I don't do that, um, Caleb's going to take so many goddamn shots. <gasps> one, one. Caleb is getting it. And you know what? I'm just going to move him right now. Caleb gets back behind cover over there. <laughs> Cool. So he's not standing in the open with his thumb up his ass, waiting to get shot. Uh, these two do have things. Um, basically, yeah, like I just have to like move back, bunker down, and hope beyond hope that these guys flee before they um, can wipe out my entire team. Ah, the villains have moved up. Uh, these two have dashed behind this truck here because they, they get some shots on here. They will get some shots next turn. Uh, the higher killer has run up here. He's got he's in charge range of um, Caleb now. But it's next on the list, apparently. Yeah. Um, he's moved up. Uh, he, he's, um, wa he's walked up because they now have a um, fair line of sight on... Um, Hakeem, so we've got two who can aim, one that can't. I'm going to do the one that can't first. You know, we need sixes. Uh, yeah, the two that can. I'm going to just roll them the same. They both have the same. Oh, um, one re roll. No, everyone misses. Uh, Hakeem is going to continue his. Uh, yeah, he is. He's going to continue his um, sniper duel. He hits! Uh, he, he doesn't kill him, but I have to check how falling works because he's going to be knocked back an inch off that towel, which I've got a feeling is going to hurt. Yeah, let's see how that goes. I couldn't find it, so I'm going to treat it as falling, and it's going to be a damage plus zero attack, so four more to kill him. I'm still zoomed all the way in. Okay, so, yeah, um... He's died, but I'm, not, I'm going to say no one got the kill on the sniper. Doesn't entirely feel right. But Ariana is going to take a shot at this lovely fellow here. He's fives to hit. She hits. And that is five. Nope. <laughs> He's still not dead. He is not back, though. Okay. The... End of the um, turn. So, let's do it in order. First up, it is turn five, so... Nope, the army still hasn't shown up. Uh, the uh, scavengers are running. What, I don't yeah, the scavengers do run. And the higher killer also runs. Everyone flees. It has been a cost... But my the heroes have in fact held the battlefield and got all the civilians to safety. You big damn heroes! Now I need to get get to find out how the injury rolls work. It had been close, but the day had been saved. Both Zack and Scratch were alive, although they probably wished they weren't. And Michael was happy with the civilians being rescued. Uh, the haul this time was not as good as last time. I uh, got three whole credits, a shotgun and three frack grenades. But, you know, everything else more or less worked out. Um, uh, Zach is out for two rounds. Uh, he's been, they've both been injured. Uh, Zach is out for two rounds and Scratch is out for one round. But I'm going to, um, I have plans for that, both of them. Um, they will be back sooner than you think. Um, everyone else has got just a ton of experience. Hakim is now, he's got enough experience that he's, um, got combat plus one, making him the third member of the crew. <laughs> 
And yeah, he is. He might actually start hitting things. Wouldn't that be nice? Um, Rel as well, while he was off doing his own thing, has made a lot of friends with the locals. So he's got a point of experience from that. And um, an admirer has joined the crew. I could have got a free additional crew member, but I've decided I like the idea that it's like, They've essentially got like a kid from the local settlement has joined as more like a cabin boy kind of thing rather than actually going out to fight. So, you know, yes, you know the kid's small. We don't need to pay him as much. Uh, <laughs> free labor. Hooray. But yeah, um, that was a considerably more brutal fight than the first one. Um I do not appreciate having the crap kicked out of me by a whole bunch of dudes and a unique individual. But it didn't kill me. I've come out the other side stronger. So I think all we have now is we can go and see what happens in the next round. A team combat turns to go until the campaign has been completed. Whoop! I'm so sorry you had to hear that. Um, if you like that, I probably should have said this before I did the whoop. <laughs> if you like this, um, please give it a like. Um, if you want to follow the Block Guards adventures, please subscribe. Oh, one I haven't done before. Hit that bell. Get some notifications. <laughs> and um, if you think you know where this is going, please comment because I have no idea. Um, yeah. Um, Please, please, please interact so I can, the algorithm gods are happy with me. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.